On the mission field and around the U.S., I've often been asked the question where I attended seminary. Not one person has asked me where I was ordained. Not one person has asked me what church commissioned me to the mission field. Why not? Did it not matter? To figure out my theological grid, they supposed that my school would give them the answer. To figure out my rationale and my theological capabilities, they supposed that the academic rigor of my school would give them the answer. But such schools have been around for only 50 to 100 years, and the liberal ones for maybe a few hundred years more. Christianity has largely bought into the unspoken secular view that educating the head equals training the person. We become a concept-oriented faith when in reality the New Testament is far more action-oriented. Action that results from the transforming truth of God's Word and the work of the Spirit. Since we've become a concept-oriented faith in the West, we think that knowledge often equals spirituality and that education is therefore sufficient to make us godly people. But ministry is an action word. Church leaders who train the next generation of leaders within the context of the church follow not only the biblical model, but also the time-honored method of many professions by placing learners in long-term apprenticeships in the work environment under those who are experienced in the profession. Take a, for instance, medical doctor. Medical students spend an enormous amount of time in the lab, observing and assisting in medical procedures and serving in residences. Imagine being the first patient of a surgeon who had only read books. <laughs> Imagine a chef, a student learning cooking for four years without touching food. Of course not. Learners in the culinary arts start working with food from the first day. A carpenter. Imagine a carpentry student who had studied books for four years, good books about wood grains and densities, about power equipment and blade depths without ever picking up a tool. Should he build your house first? How about a pastor or a church leader? Is he more like a philosopher, a poet, a historian, someone who takes in and gives out ideas? No, ministry is more than trafficking in ideas and performing public lectures. It's bringing real truth to real people with real needs. Like these other professions, ministry is action based on truth, and that truth is often best learned in action. The pastoral officials and practical ministry require a person to have certain attributes, virtues, abilities, experiences before he or she should be considered as a church leader. Can you discern this in a sterile classroom environment? A group of BMW missionaries made a long list of biblical and ministry attributes a person should have before becoming a church leader, a pastor. We call them our outcome objectives, and we found that most leadership attributes are developed through mentoring and through internships, not through academic classwork. Someone with a purely academic preparation has maybe a 25 to 35 percent readiness for ministry. So we advocate the biblical model, and we advocate the historically proven model as BMW, where you mentor people for ministry and teach them right in the context of a local church, which builds and grows to the point where they are qualified for ministry through ordination as opposed to graduation.